Well, hello there. I don't know where you're watching me from, but I'm in Michigan, right on the Lake Michigan shoreline. And I'm gonna do a little follow-up video to my hot tub enclosure, as you can see behind me. So I'm gonna flip this. Okay, well, I did a little mod modification to the, the top cover, not to the sides, but to the top cover. Because even though I was getting heavy rainfalls before snow set in, I was getting a lot of sagging and I was afraid that that foam board was going to crack and break. I tried supporting it by putting stuff between the the cover and the hot tub and it just wasn't working. So I did some modifying and I want to get into that. But as you can see, um, over this weekend here, just before it's recording, in fact, even today, we got a lot of snow. I think a lot of areas got over a foot of snow blowing. It started off heavy and now it's turned lighter. So let me step down a little bit. So I just started doing some shoveling. I got to do some more shoveling so I can get to this thing and I'll take the cover off and show you a little bit more what we did so you don't run into the same problems I did. All right, so now I got it cleared off and this is probably, I don't know, it's recorded later because we got more snow we just kept getting dumped on so finally got caught up on clearing snow and before I take the cover off you can see this 2 by 4 here that's gonna be your first clue what I did and that's run down the middle but if this will show I'm not sure but you can see that obviously it's supported in the middle where that 2 by 4 is and the sides but right down through here, it still seems like it has a little bit of a sag. And a lot of the snow that we got, uh, it was fluffy stuff, but obviously that adds up. And as the heat kind of rises through the foam a little bit, it was melting off and creating a lot of ice, which I kind of chiseled off. So let me get this cover off and we'll take a look at what I did on the inside. All right, well, there we go. Got our cover off. There was more ice on it than I realized. I had to chisel some of the ice off. So when you build something like this, be mindful of the ice buildup. You gotta get all that ice off before you can fold it. Okay, well there's what I did and it seems to be help supporting. So I just took, this is an eight foot two by four and I wanted to leave extra just because I wasn't sure if the front and the back were gonna bow out because what happens is something on these hot tubs that I noticed on this one and another one, that as they start to get soft, they push out on the sides. And I start to see the side bowing out a little bit. You could probably see it more on this side here, a little bit of bowing there. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that same bowing effect, you know, front to back. So I left the extra. And I could probably cut it off and just leave maybe an inch and a half to two inches sticking out. But that's what I did. I just took a scrap piece of 2x4, held it up against, traced it, cut it with my razor knife, and then took a putty knife, as I showed in earlier video on assembling this thing, is take a putty knife, and you can get all the way through. This is inch and a half. Obviously, if you use two inches, you're not going to have like a two-inch blade, so putty knife really works out good. So it's been probably a week maybe just over a week since I've used the hot tub. So now I'm gonna take the cover off, check the water chemistry, clean out the filters. Um, and as you can see, we got, we got a bunch of snow and some of it has settled on the railings. So it's holding up so far. Um, I turned the temperature down a bit when I know I'm not gonna be using it for a while. Um, and I might even turn it off, you know, about every other day for the night. Just don't let it cool down too much. So I'm going to see how much longer in the winter that I'm going to be able to use this. And I'll keep you updated. So there we go. A little bit of reinforcement on the cover.